What's going on guys? Dustin right here on how we're gonna get to 100% through the things I'm going through. So today we are gonna talk about how to never run out of things to say in a conversation. We all hate when we're talking to somebody and then all of a sudden there's just no words to be said, there's awkward silence and both people in the conversation don't know what to say what to do and now we're at an awkward silence with somebody when we're out at lunch or we're in school or at the college, wherever the case may be. So what we're gonna do is address that so we can end those awkward conversations and we can talk to anybody about anything and make great connections in life to get us further and further to 100%. Guys, let's get into it. I've been moving kind of so no trouble with me. Trying to keep it peaceful is a struggle for me. Don't pull up at 6 a.m. and cuddle with me. You know how I like it when you love it on me. I don't want to die for them to miss me. Guess I see the things that they wishing on me. Hope I got some brothers that I live me. They gon' tell the story, shit was different. God's plan. God's plan. One step you can do when you're sitting with somebody and the conversation is running dry and you're starting to feel that awkwardness is you must have something you can relate to them to. So if they're done telling a story or if the conversation is just running dry, look around you, get a hold of your environment, get a hold of what they're saying and pick something that reminds you of a time, of a place, of a person so you then can continue the conversation because making connections with people is not about telling them how great you are or how many accomplishments you have. People like hearing about someone who is similar to them. So you need to make connections with people and not quite talk completely about yourself. And when somebody tells you a story or let's say tells you something that they're proud of, like for example, let's say someone, they won the tournament for the soccer team they play for, okay? Well, don't go back and tell them, oh my goodness, that's crazy because I ran a marathon and I got first place. Because what that means is you don't really care what they had to say. You just wanted to talk about how you made an accomplishment that may be better than theirs. So you have to be considerate when people tell you things. And if the conversation is running dry, one step you can do is pick something in your environment or something that they say and explain how that reminds you of a time, of a place. So you can then make a connection with that person to keep the conversation going. I see this more often than I should when people are talking to each other and the conversation just runs dry. And both people look at each other like they don't speak the same language. Guys, it's very simple. You have to make connections with people. And then you guys, you have no idea how far you can get in life just by talking to somebody and really having a real conversation with them. The next step, okay, you must ask open-ended questions. Let me give you an example. Let's say you are sitting down with somebody at lunch or having coffee and they just moved to Florida, okay? Don't ask, do you like Florida? That's a, that's a one answer question, yeah or no, okay? You need to ask them, hey, why do you like Florida so much? What made you move there? Get them to tell you a little bit more, then that opens them up inside and then they're gonna tell you why they moved to Florida. What about Florida? And then you guys can start opening different conversations through that question. But do you see how that one question can change the dynamic of the conversation? So it's very important to ask open-ended questions. And also, you need to ask why. Let me explain. When someone tells you that they got a new job at a law firm in Florida, Ask them why they got that new job at the law firm in Florida. How come they moved? How come they started going to law school? What made them want to do that career? Why did they pick that? Because these are small things in conversation that I think as we go through life and go through these days, we forget to ask people these questions and we get stuck in these awkward conversations and then we look back like, why was that so awkward? I don't understand. Well, these are very, very simple things that you can make adjustments to that won't only help you in your business, but just help you make connections in this small world we live in. Because everybody knows this world is small, and if you can communicate with the people that are in it, maybe things can go a lot better. Maybe things will be easier to ask for, or accomplishments might be able to get made sooner. 
And the next step, you must be able to cold read somebody and give them a compliment about what you've seen. And let me clarify what I'm saying. So if you see a guy who looks like he has some muscles, he looks like he works out, and the conversation is dying, well, you can say, hey, buddy, it looks like you hit the weights. Do you play sports? And no matter if they play sports or no matter what the case may be, now you gave them a compliment about what you thought as an opinion and he can say, no, I just like to lift weights. Yeah, I've been competing in weightlifting competitions. Thanks for asking. And you guys can now, oh, how much do you bench? How much do you squat? You can start opening conversations like that. If you see a guy, he's, he's dressed down real nice, nice belt, nice shoes. Hey, what do you do for a living? You, you're, real, you're dressed real sharp, you know? You can base the conversation on what you see the person as, you know, you, if they're athletic, if they look sharp, they're sharply dressed. You can make conversation based on that. There's no reason in this world that we should have a time where we can't communicate with another human being based on the conversation just being awkward and there'd be nothing to talk about. There is so much going on in each individual life that we live that there just can't be a way that two people can't communicate. So why are we doing this? Because we are going to get to 100% no matter what we have to do, no matter what we have to say in an awkward conversation to spark it back up again. And the next step, very important, you have to use questions that are going to revive the conversation if the conversation just goes dead. Sometimes when you're with a group of people and everybody's kind of just like, yeah, yeah, oh, cool, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. So that's, yeah, yeah, everybody's kind of dry. You need to spark the conversation back up or else it's gonna sit there in that awkwardness. Ask, if you're in a group, you need to ask them, so how do you guys know each other? If you, if you guys are in a networking event as real estate agents, like I am a lot of the times, you need to ask the people around you, so hey, what got you guys in the business? Okay, engage the parties around you. If it's just a single person, if you're asking them, hey, you know, what do you do for work? If you're, if you're outside of an event or networking, there's always conversation to be had. You just have to ask questions. Okay, you need to ask somebody, well, what do you want to be in the future? You know, what's your destined goal? What's your life goal? You know, that's a lot of that's a question. A lot of people don't ask other people because like, oh, I don't want to intrude on them. Well, you're not intruding on anybody. You know, you're asking them a simple question and they're going to engage with you and you guys can now have a conversation about what they want to be in the future what they want to do, you know, and you guys can now give each other's opinion and knowledge based on the life that you guys have lived to help each other out. And now there's no more awkward silence and you're able to engage people in the conversation. And last but not least, you need to flip the script. And what I mean by that is you need to allow the other person to communicate in the conversation. So what do I mean by that? Sometimes you need to not say anything so that they can open up and ask you the questions. So if you're the one doing the talking the whole time in the conversation, sometimes you need to step back and let them ask the questions. Listen, if you are in silence for about 30 seconds, it's going to cause the other person to either give a statement or ask a question. And when they do that, you can elaborate on what they said by repeating it. So if someone says, man, I went to a party last night and it was horrible. Elaborate on the question. It was horrible. What happened? Now, you guys have sparked another conversation. You guys can get further down the road. We're closer to 100%. And now we can talk to anybody in any conversation because that's what we're meant to do as human beings. We have a voice, we have a thought process, and we have feelings. Guys, we need to use them. We need to use them to communicate with people so that we can further and further grow to get to 100% in every way and every day.